Okay, I've made this relatively easy to understand. This is the people in our country and everywhere else. This is the problem. Is that they got fluoride blocking. They've got fat blockage. They've got knowledge blockage. All these things are all blocked away. With all those things blocked away, you've got this result. Uh, the chemicals, the food, and everything. Now, this isn't your arteries. They might show you this and make you think that that's the main concern is your arteries. But that's not it. This is your chi centers. So what's happened is, is that when I fasted, I flushed everything out. And then it was like, oh, the light's coming in a lot easier because I have already was a sun gazer. So now that the light is coming in easier and the energy is flowing in easier, I can feel it better and it's more electrical and it's flowing all the elements through the body like a, a plain glass or like a cloth that uh, you pour stuff through and it seeps out the other side. And it's just, it's like a rag. And you can soak it up versus a rag that's sitting in mortar. And then you take that same rag and it's all nasty and you can't get liquid to go through it and you can't do anything with it. And that's essentially what they've done is blocked up all your centers on all levels, whether it be the arteries or the fluoride to the brain or plastic, which I need to add that as plastic blockage, blocking your electrical uh, firing of your synapses in your brain. And uh, the most of the water you drink is about 80 percent plastic because the bottle is got the greatest soluble known to man, which is water inside the bottle. And then the bottle leaches immediately into the water solubility of the plastic. So you're like 80%. You're like a plastic man walking around drinking this shit. Like if I drink one of these right now, it tastes so nasty. Like I would literally just spit it out like, ah, that's not even water. Like it doesn't taste like water to me. But it tastes like water to other people because they're not filtering out. They're not blocking it. They're not, uh, they're susceptible and they're conditioned to be norm to it like a bpa jug or anything they tell oh that's bpa free but it's not plastic free you know saying is the plastic is the culprit so once i did this i said you know i'm gonna fast because i was eating pizza you know occasionally i'll have like some fried egg rolls or something like that my family they still do that but uh i noticed that they have these problems because of that and uh it it creates the dumbing down effect because i noticed that now that this energy is flowing through me more I'm becoming even smarter and uh, I'm looking around me and all I see is mediocrity everywhere like even with my own family they all sit and they uh, argue over stuff and grovel over things that could easily be figured out that don't necessarily require uh, a lot of uh, you know fighting over it or whatever it may be it may be the case but uh, that's everyone it's not even just my own family you might even say oh that's me you want to say that about your family I'm just being honest I mean, I just sat and listened to them argue over bullshit for like 20 minutes and I'm just sitting there like, okay, so they'll be gone soon and I'll be making this video because it's just what it is. You know, everybody has got this blockage and uh, because of this blockage, the brains aren't working properly. You can't come up with complex uh, solutions to complex problems. You just want to just you know flare and and be mad and and kick and scream and ah, i just can't deal with this and that's why your suicide rates are going up that's why uh, uh people are just ignorant in general they're just dumb as fuck because there's no flow to all these sinners that want to let this shit go through so today uh i'm gonna i'm gonna take another meal again uh i haven't eaten today but this is from yesterday and uh, it's all veggie, so I don't have to worry about meat being in there, making it poisonous or, or anything like that. I don't have to worry about that. I can just put my avocado, my cucumbers back in the same bowl, put the little little natural spices in there, the electrical Himalayan salt. People say, oh, salt's poisonous. But why do you need salt lamps, salt crystals, salt baths if they don't cleanse your body? Salt cleanses the air. It cleanses the air. Mortar. Mortimer salt is bullshit. That's that fucking nasty iodine shit. That's not electrical. It's horrible shit that they give you that comes at face value. You got to go looking for some Himalayan stuff. 
that comes from the crystals of the silicon trees. You know what I mean? So that's the kind of salt that I'm using. That's the kind of salt that I use when I want to uh, make my organ bubble more electrifying. And the emulsification of the uh, the Tesla wine sitting in it will send out that fresh air. So essentially, whatever you put in it is what you're going to get out. So for example, if you have an organ bubble, right? And you got crystals in there. You got gold in there, some silver, uh, a little bit of copper. And just mix it together and stick the Tesla ray in it, a violet ray by name. There's all kinds of different. Uh, let me see what brand I have. Someone asked me what kind of brand I had. It looks like it's called Clavis, Clasvis, Clasvis, Clasverse, whatever. C O A S V S. And you can Google that. Amazon has a bunch of them. But that's my Oregon bubble. I'm going to put a more contained boxing around it because it was in a glass and the glass broke. So I just started putting crystals on top of it because we go crystal digging. Pretty nice. All kinds of different. Uh, Tylene, uh, quartz, amethyst, all kinds of stuff in there. But one thing you'll see is if there's anything sticking out, is this copper, or uh, and there's a little bit of gold in there here and there. But uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't send out a emulsification of anything that's bad for me. Let me show you an example. So some people they want to use plastic because they're going to get a emulsification of plastic elements into their organ, which is not good. You want to use glass, you want to use copper. Uh, copper adds a lot of base. So if you're not a very copper-friendly guy like me, like I like copper on everything. I like copper on my, on my, you know what I mean? I'm trying to protect my little design down there. It's kind of made out of like that turf, which has got that plastic. But I, I'll put that, uh, that natural, uh, what is that, alpaca? I think that's like a natural alpaca fiber that, uh, you see, it's all beating up. It's like, it's real wool. So, uh, yeah, I won't put things that emulsify uh, harmful elements. Like, people will say, put aluminum in there so it's a cloud buster. No, bro, that's aluminum. That shit is what they're using on that 5G shit. That's the stuff that's in your cans and in your sodas. It's causing Alzheimer's. So if you put that in there, it's going to emulsify an Alzheimer's effect, which comes off the, uh, the aluminum element. And then you got plastic elements. So people are making their organ bubbles completely wrong. They're putting epoxy and stuff like that in there. That's understandable, you know, um, but they need to be, everything needs to be connected firstly. And then uh, I wouldn't use epoxy at all because that's literally blocking some of the emulsification because the stuff should just come out everywhere. Kind of like uh, an incense or, or you know, like someone yelling. If they yelled into a little straw, you wouldn't hear it. But if they yelled outside of the straw, it would just be everywhere. Like, ah, versus, mm. So that's what's happening with you guys. With this, uh, your uh, your body, you gotta you gotta you gotta fast. You gotta get that shit to flush out, because if you don't, it's just gonna stay there, and it's gonna be hard to get uh, a fast track on your chi and all your building. You gotta flush it out. Like that's what I did. So now that I've done that, I'm thinking, man, I'm just gonna do straight breatharian. But I'm like, wait a minute. But what if I make my my spout stronger and bigger, and then I have this harnessing in within the strong, stronger uh, apparatus mainframe of my body. You know what I mean? So I'm going to make the uh, the spout stronger. And then I should be able to be a self-sustainable unit. Kind of like uh, on Hulk. When his dad says, man, I'm not sustainable. I really need to be sustained like my son. Because my son, he's like, man, he's like one with it. But I can't get on that level because... I'm building all this stuff, and it's, I mean, the molecules are just not stable, and it falls apart. And that's what I'm saying is that you need to be stable to be 100% breatharian. You have to be 100% stable to where every part that creates chi is flowing so well that there's just no way you can lose. There's no way that anything is blocked, anything is clogged, anything is anything. So it's just like pew, Superman. So... All the elements just go flowing through, and that's what I'm experiencing right now, the beginning of uh, a big rush of elements. And I'm like, okay, well, now these elements are rushing in. I'm going to put in some other elements that come from the sun and get their energy from the sun and put it in there, too, that don't cause this, that don't cause calcification to the pineal gland, that doesn't cause clog to the arteries, that doesn't cause a blockage to the way my brain processes things. And then... You're looking at one hell of a fucking faucet just fucking killing the game. 
So that's what I'm saying is that once you fast and get all of that nasty stuff out and you're and you're clean, then you can start uh, consuming like, uh, you know, like a a very lightweight diet and your stomach won't even want to eat anything. Like right now, like I'm seeing myself having to, again, put some more protein in there because I want those elements to add to these elements mixed with these elements to give me the ultimate element. So that's what it is. And essentially, that's a real simple way to understand your cheese centers and what's going on with it. This is Grim Nasty. Thanks for watching. Stay awake.